Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising monthly tarot reading for December 2018 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it is not your personal reading therefore uh, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, well that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And as this is a month of celebrations, uh, <clears throat> the prices for the 30 and the 20 minutes uh, tarot reading live tarot reading with me are um, abated so uh, that being said as well if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month uh, you can obtain the extended monthly tarot reading for just $1.49 from our website and in that specific video we are to focus specifically on career and relationship as this is just a, a general one with no specific topic <clears throat> or no specific fulcrum to go by with so that being said, going to the first card here for us, the Scorpios, which is the topic of our month, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. So that is going to be kind of very dynamic month because the Wheel of Fortune first and foremost speaks for a, a lot of different activities that we are going to be involved in, involved in should we choose to. Now, uh, because it's a, it falls as a topic of the month, the Wheel of Fortune could manifest itself in numerous ways and literally what the card signifies is luck uh, of the draw and uh, maybe once in a lifetime opportunities coming in our way but what kind of those opportunities are going to be uh, well they are depending on our personal situations and just so I can give you a, a quick example here uh, recently I have stumbled to question you know what the Wheel of Fortune could have mean into relationship well the, the Wheel of Fortune could mean in case you are single it could mean that this is going to be a um, kind of like a happy introducement um, with someone that you can possibly make a relationship forward into the future or it could be an opportunity to bring back on its feet a, a deteriorating relationship as well. Uh, nonetheless the Wheel of Fortune it's uh, signifying that this is going to be a, a month of luck for you Scorpios and a month, and a month, month of a, uh, extraordinary opportunities coming in your way career or relationship wise so this card here itself advises you to uh, basically um, how can I place it indulge with activities rather than spend the majority of your free time at home watching TV and uh, basically doing stuff that um, are uh, a thing of repeatance so you need to go out and experience try to involve yourself with a, a different new and accelerating a activities that are until this very moment unknown to you in many ways so the next card that we do have this is going to be the best possible course of action here and that is to be the hierophant um, <clears throat> The, uh, the Hierophant card as an action, it could, uh, it could represent the following of uh, the, how can I place it, the existing convictions, kind of like following a certain patterns that are already accepted by the society here. So uh, it kind of comes peculiar with the Wheel of Fortune because one of the cards, uh, the topic here asks you, you know, to just give yourself to the whatever is thrown to you in this very moment while the best possible course of action here asks you to be rather more methodical and to be more organized you know and to um, <clears throat> to do things uh, into their already existing patterns that have been created from the society before uh, before you so uh, what the, the the hierophant in that specific case it preaches for us or it kind of asks us to do is to exclude the ideas of end goals or kind of like end goal benefits so whatever 
uh, we want to do throughout the month with Scorpius, we should do it because we are feeling like doing it, rather than because at the end of, of whatever enterprise we are involved in is going to benefit us in any material gains. I mean, the gains are going to come around if the gains are supposedly there, but that should not be the main driving force of our steam, uh, chasing a particular particular goal or aim but we need to chase it because we are amused by it same thing goes for career and same thing goes for a relationship quick example here about career it is um <clears throat> that could be here with the uh, Wheel of Fortune, you know, a, a surprising offering of uh, investment into a new project. And instead of investing into the project, because at the end you are going to win a lot of money, uh, the intention here, or rather the convictions that needs to support your actions, are because you are finding it close to your heart and because you are finding it interesting. I don't know if that makes sense. But... Uh, I will also mention, uh, just to explain you that specific combination, a, a interview with a, a Bulgarian actor here. I, I listened to it in a couple of years ago, and it is what made me impression. So they asked the actor, you know, is it a, a lucrative um, profession to be an actor? And he said, to be an actor is a diagnosis. It's, it is not a profession. You're doing it not because of the money, but because it's something you like to do. The money finds you on their own accord, you know. If you do it for the money, you will suck like... Uh, your acting career is going to suck as a uh, performance here. You need to be there because you love acting and not because you love uh, earning money. Again, the money are as a result of your love for acting. So I hope that that makes more sense here. And this kind of impl implication is going to be regarding your career and your relationship for throughout the month. The next card is uh, pointing to the challenges which are uh, causing predicaments in that will be the, the uh, Empress card. So the Empress card points that <clears throat> at this month you may want to be a little bit more carefree than usual, you know, a little bit more immature, a little bit more risky because the maturity and uh, the very balanced behavior and judgment and, and also taking up on the decisions are going to be something of a, a predicament for you. It is simply, you know, you want to, you will want to be more carefree than usual uh, and more spontaneous as well and etc etc while the uh, the empress is nothing like that i mean the empress it's um it's again very organized but in the same time it's uh it's very mature now the empress does not do things because she likes to she does things because she thinks that they are right to be done even if that goes against her zone of comfort and that is something that will come as a predicament for you you know to make uh, to make things because you like doing them uh, instead of you know because you have to do them uh, kind of like a, a complex explanation here guys but let's say that uh, this month uh, you are going to find it very difficult to relax right it's, long story short you are you're going to find it very difficult to relax for one or another reason and to basically go along with it and uh, be humbled and resigned about what is going on around you and instead of that you may you may try to cultivate it and to take the best possible uh, decision about it, which it's, it can happen, all right? But in the same time, uh, every time you get a decision, you will be left with the impression that you could have decided better, right? And so this is the predicament here, to just make a decision whenever you are required to and just go along with it, not having a regret about what kind of a decision you have taken um, throughout this, um, <clears throat> this specific enterprise. The next card that we do have, this is going to be the, uh, the guidance and as we've spoken about the decision, the Ten of Swords comes just in time here. And it is about the lack of... Uh, what was the English word here? The lack of self-commiseration, if I may express myself that way. Well, it's kind of like... or um, It's more like being, uh, being pity and... Um, soaring for yourself 
right oh man i forgot the word and the expression but so it's okay let me let me try to explain it like an example here so uh we ca we came around as a decision making right and you make your decision and further down the road you feel sorry for those who are left out of the code as a result of your decision so it's kind of like a uh, a situation where you're trying to please everybody but yourself and it kind of fits very well with the Empress because the Empress as a character it, it is prone to please everybody else but herself and here the Ten of Swords puts an end to that Scorpios. So this time around when we do have the Ten of Swords you need to do something drastic and, and, and entirely differently for yourself and for your well-being and as well for how you do things from now on in a sense of that uh, you know you need to place a, a new era in your life and that new era needs to be marked by putting a on a stop of self self Sacrif uh, sacrificial uh, activities like sacrificing your free time so you can be uh, you can make someone else's happy like sacrificing you know your lu lu lucrative activities so you can give them away to someone else to be lucrative so you can make them happy as well and etc etc and I, it's kind of like I know that many people are going to criticize me about that but these cards here are pointing that you gotta be selfish because everybody around you is selfish you know and uh, you are playing the role of the fool in the eyes of others and these cards are pointing that they are taking full um, advantage of that goodness in your heart Scorpio to dry you and milk you uh, and milk you excuse me for all you got and you gotta put an end to that to give you an example, um, maybe you have that kind of a friend which always asks you for money with the excuse that they have, for example, a, uh, um, a ill parent that they need to take care of, or an ill sibling, or they have earning a, a small amount of money and they have children to feed, and etc., etc. And you are constantly kind of like subsidizing, you know, their life, and they are presenting their situation in a such way that you are feeling guilty of asking for your money back you know well let me tell you something you know you work for your money and those money are yours and you're not you should not feeling yourself obliged to give them away into someone else and this is just a uh, and a one type of example so what we do have here just to summarize all that is that instead of pleasing everybody around you the month of December will be a month where you are going to orient it yourself more of pleasing personally yourself and doing things which you like even if those things are gonna make a uh, circumstantial people and uh, peripheral as well people kind of like unhappy because we are talking about a sacrifice here you got a sacrifice portion of your happiness so you can make someone else's happy and the result of all that is going to be the king of swords so the king of swords here has more kind of like kind of like a, a new, neutral state this is how you are at the end of the month so i will try to explain you the king of swords as a, a character here the king of swords does not care about the problems of others as a matter of fact he finds the problems of others as a trifles in the grand scheme of things the king of swords cares only about the grand machine and how everything works together so that being said the companions of the king of swords are only those who can help to the king of swords and he can make use of them just like they can make use of him so it's kind of like a, a coexistence and not codependency here that we do have with the king of swords so that card here gives us a uh, gives us a, a glimpse that you are to become much more aware how to capitalize on the resources either with people or just a uh, material resources around yourself you are going to become much more aware how to capitalize on your free time and in generally how to restructure your uh, 
your social environment, you know, and your working environment in a such a way that things are simply going to start working this time around for you, Scorpio. And of course, that will require some how more uh, ruthless behavior from your behalf, showing that you are not someone who can be taken lightly and you are not someone that can be milked for all you got. So that being said guys, this was uh, your monthly tarot reading for the month of December 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this was just a general reading for Scorpio star sign and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video I uh, made my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But at the end it falls to you again to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you, well that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.